Hello, my name's Joseph Barrow, Superintendent of Schools here in Fayette County, and I uh, want to welcome you to another one of our community chats. I trust everyone had a good July 4th and that things have settled back down into your normal family routines. Uh, I want to be able to share uh, some information about our re-entry plan uh, going forward into the FY2020 one school year. We're very excited about the opportunities to uh, reopen school. Uh, I do know that the uh, ending of school was pretty difficult for us having to pivot very quickly on March 12th, March 13th, and then not being able to come back into the regular brick and mortar schools for the remainder of the school year. I know that was difficult. Frankly, uh, beginning the new school year may be even more difficult because of uh, a number of factors. Uh, the first thing I do want to make sure you're aware of uh, is that we have an official start date uh, that is August 10th. I repeat that again, August 10th will be our official start date. Originally in our uh, prior calendar adoptions it was August 3rd, but um, I in looking with, with this issue with our staff, we determined that we needed some additional time, and there are a number of reasons for that. First, uh, we've got a lot of training that we need to do with our uh, teachers and staff on our new learning management system. Uh, it's called Schoology, and we need some additional time. Our teachers are off contract on, during the summer, so as soon as they come back on contract, we'll be able to make sure they're trained uh, on that new learning uh, management system. Uh, we also understand that there are a lot of meetings that weren't able to be held uh, at the end of the school year last spring uh, dealing with students that have uh, uh, special considerations like an IEP, a 504, uh, any of those end of year meetings that didn't take place we need to have some time to be able to do that before the new year, uh, new school year starts. So uh, say again August 10th is the start date for the 2020-2021 school year. Uh, more information about the start of school will be coming from your uh, child's school uh, about their back to school and open house schedule, uh, some of which will be done virtually. Uh, again, I, I understand some of the anxiety and nervousness of parents and students and, and even our staff in starting back and I fully understand those feelings. I, I want to assure the entire community uh, that all reason, reasonable measures are being taken uh, to help protect the health and safety and the well-being of all of our students. That's incredibly important. Our job number one, uh, first top priority uh, I can give you multiple examples of the things that we're doing, such as our buildings and our buses uh, will be fully sanitized uh, prior to opening of school. Uh, that'll be done on a, on a scheduled, regular basis. Uh, protocols for uh, social and physical distancing are being developed at each school site. Uh, the use of face coverings uh, certainly are encouraged for all staff and students where appropriate. Uh, hand washing and sanitizing will be done frequently throughout the day. Um, I, uh, I do want to go ahead and, and, and make this comment. I know there's a lot of discussion about face coverings. Uh, at this point, uh, we're asking uh, students uh, if they choose to ride uh, the bus. Uh, we can't socially or physically distance on the bus. Uh, so we are asking if you're going to ride the bus to wear uh, a face covering. Uh, we're wanting to let parents know that in, well in advance. So if you don't feel comfortable uh, with uh, your child wearing uh, a face covering, uh, that'll give you time to be able to find alternative uh, transportation. Either drop the student off, they can walk, they can ride their bicycle, whatever uh, mode of transportation the parent feels most comfortable with. But because we can't physically distance on the bus, we do feel that that's a priority for us. I can tell you our guidance with regard to the planning on the reopening of schools has been extensive. Uh, the implementation plans of the district uh, will, will be and will continue to be what's feasible, practical, acceptable, 
and tailored to meet the needs of Fayette County. I fully recognize that uh, school districts all around Georgia are putting out their plans and each community is a little bit unique. Um, we'll do what's in the best interest of the parents and students and staff in Fayette County. I do want to highlight the reentry uh, plan and I said we've had extensive guidance. We've uh, uh, asked guidance from our health professionals, the CDC, the Georgia Department of Public Health, uh, the Georgia Department of Education, uh, other professionals, uh, epidemiologists uh, uh, from universities. We've uh, had conversations with those kinds of individuals. Uh, we have involved teachers and administrators and county uh, office staff, healthcare workers, community members, business leaders, and we've also had some students involved in some of our uh, thinking process. I can tell you that if school were to start today, and we're filming this video clip, this is the morning of uh, uh, July 8th, but if we were to start school tomorrow, July 9th, and that's not the case, it's August 10th. Uh, but if we were to start school tomorrow, it would be at the green level. Uh, but I want to make sure everybody understands that's subject to change the closer we get to school. If we have a spike up in cases uh, across our county, here in Fayette County, uh, we may have to reconsider that. But if we started today or tomorrow, we would be starting on green. So. Uh, I just want to stress with parents and students that this situation is very fluid, so we may have to pivot back and forth between green, yellow, and red, determining the circumstances, at least with the brick and mortar option. Uh, I do want to alert parents uh, to complete the survey about making a re-entry school choice. Uh, it's incredibly important that you do that. Uh, links will be provided as part of the survey to help you make your choice. Uh, please check emails um, and the school uh, district uh, webpage um, and complete that survey. That's going to be critically important. Uh, if we don't re receive a response uh, to the survey, uh, your child will be automatically enrolled in the brick and mortar option. Uh, we are asking that you complete a survey form for each child in your household. Uh, I have two children in my house. We'll complete a form for both of them. Um, the deadline uh, will be July 12th. I'm sure you will have had a chance to review this video before then, but I want to announce that uh, we're asking parents to complete the surveys by July 12th. Uh, I have to be very transparent. Uh, and candidly, uh, no one can 100% guarantee that no one will get the virus in Fayette County. Uh, but the chances of getting the virus uh, at school have been greatly mitigated by all of the protocols we've put into place. Uh, it's going to be very important that families work with us, keep us informed, because you may have contact with others outside of the school, uh, and can contract the virus that way, we need to be notified of that. We'll talk more about that protocol later. Um, I mentioned earlier I have two uh, of my own students. I'm not just the superintendent here. I'm a, I'm a customer of the district, and uh, we have a personal stake in this uh, decision. Uh, our children will be returning to school. I feel like the schools are safe. I feel like they will continue to be safe if we all work together and follow our safety procedures and protocols. Uh, video emails and updates will be sent uh, in the weeks leading up to the start of school. Uh, I will make you aware that there will be a, uh, uh, a, another uh, survey about our transportation or bus system. That will be released on July 15th. Uh, it's really important more than ever to register so we know how to plan. We are looking at reducing the number of students on the bus. Uh, that's a very costly endeavor on our part, but we know that a lot of kids won't be able to get to school unless we provide public transportation for them. Um, we won't be able to allow students on the bus unless we know 
how to plan for them. So again, please do fill out the surveys. Check email, check your email accounts regularly. Uh, check the websites for the most up-to-date information. Uh, again, I can't tell you how important it is for you to stay tuned in as we get closer to that August 10th date. Uh, I also want to make you aware that we have uh, created an additional frequently asked questions document. Uh, we've been uh, working on that for the last week or so. Uh, it's pretty extensive. I'd say it's probably somewhere 14-15 pages long. Uh, if you want uh, answers to those most frequently asked questions, please refer to that document. Uh, I won't tell you that we've answered every single question that an in individual may have, but we feel like we have covered most of the pertinent information that's frequently asked. Uh, but we want to be able to be uh, and, and provide good customer service, so if you have a question, let us know. Feel free to contact our public information officer, Ms. Melinda Berry Dreisbach. Uh, our building principals are, are now back on contract there in their buildings. They're working on their individual plans. Uh, we don't want to bombard them, but if you have specific questions about the operation or something about the school itself, uh, they're really the best source of information. Uh, but please contact uh, the district office as well if you have questions. Uh, I know that uh, this has been an unprecedented uh, time for all of us. Uh, I will tell you up front, we do not have all the answers in our pocket or in our hand today. We are working uh, diligently to try to do the very best we can in uh, providing your child a high quality education in the most safe and secure environment uh, humanly possible. So I do want you to know uh, that's our number one priority. Uh, we'll look forward to having some additional information sent out to you, and thank you for your time and attention to this video. Have a great day.